Hi, this is Coach Chuck from the National Free Fly Society Youth Development Program. In this short video clip, we're going to look at the flight window and pre-flight window uh, for right stuff and electric right stuff in Science Olympiad competition. This area causes a lot of confusion, not only with competitors, but also with those running the events. So hopefully this video will clear up uh, those misconceptions and make it clear uh, how these flight windows work. You have a pre-flight time window, which is two minutes for electric right stuff, three minutes for right stuff, and then you have an eight-minute flight window. I've seen uh, this uh, misinterpreted by many competitors as well as ESs at every level of contest, so it would be good to go over that right now. So let's take a look at a, a quick drawing here. Here we have a three-minute window in beige, and this window represents your pre-flight period. Uh, this is for right stuff. For electric right stuff, this would be two minutes, but the concepts are the same. So this window starts when the judge hands you your uh, rubber motor, or in the case of electric right stuff, your charger. That starts a three-minute pre-flight time period. The purpose of this pre-flight period is to keep things moving along so a particular team doesn't take up a lot of the judge's time. Now, during that pre-flight time period, if we launch any flight, be it test or official, we're going to call green official, red test, um, powered or unpowered, so just a gliding flight, Launch any test during that three minute window and you get the bonus. That bonus is intended to keep things moving along. But a second thing happens when you launch that flight. Your eight minute time window starts. This is your flight window for the rest of your flights. Starts with any flight during the pre-flight time period and continues on for eight minutes. Within that eight minute type time period, you can launch any number of um, test flights. Let's say this, this initial flight was an official flight that you launched during the pre-flight period. You can launch multiple test flights, trying to get a problem straightened out in your plane, and then launch your second uh, official flight anywhere in this eight minute window. If you launch your second official flight within the eight minute window, right at the end, it will be allowed to fly to completion outside the eight minute window and you'll get your time. You may not launch any additional flights after the conclusion of the eight minute window. If you had started the eight minute window with a test flight and then later did a official flight, same principles apply. You might do many test flights and then do an official flight. If you get late in your test period, you've done a bunch of test flights, you're trying to do uh, resolve an issue, and then you fly an official flight and this takes you to the end of the eight minute period, you do not get your second official flight. You have to launch the second official flight before the end of the eight minute period. Now, let's say you did not, you, you, you got your, your uh, initial flight launched at the very end of the three minute window. You still get your bonus and that still triggers the start of the eight minute window and the same rules apply. You have eight minutes to initiate both of your uh, official flights, even if one of those official flights is what initiated your eight minute window. Now, in the case that you get no flights off in the three minute pre-flight window, two minutes for electric uh, right stuff, at the conclusion of that pre-flight window, your eight minute flight window will begin and you will get no bonus. Then sometime during that, you start your, your test flights and or official flights and same thing applies. You must get this final official flight launched before the end of the eight minutes. You have an unlimited number of uh, flights in this window, but only two of them can be official. If you fail to announce whether it's official or trim flight, 
it is an official flight. So basically this three minute pre-flight will end whenever you begin a flight of any sort and that starts your uh, eight minute flight window. One final thing to note that uh, these uh, pre-flight windows and flight windows have no timeouts. So if your plane gets stuck and you need to recover it, or you need repairs or it lands on the other side of the gym, the clock continues to run. There is no timeout for retrieval of airplanes or repair of airplanes.